Happy Friday to her. Happy Friday, Consuela. How's your week been? Ah, uh, it's been, there have been ups and downs this week. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just been one of those kinds of weeks. It has been a busy week for me, but I think you have had more ups and downs. <laughs> like yeah. for me, it's, you know, getting back into the swing of things. I've yes. had meetings. I've had conferences. Well, a conference was multiple days, but it's been a good week. Like this was the first day I was like solidly back on campus and okay. just, you know, like there's a lot to get done before the school year starts. So yeah. there's that pressure. But at the same time, it's like little odds and ends that need to be taken care of. And so, I mean, I felt somewhat productive, you know, that's good, but it was a good day. I was just, we'll just leave it at that. I could have probably could have been more productive, but there were some little odds and ends that needed attention. Yeah, you know, there's a lot involved in getting things up and running again. So. Yeah, yeah. But I'm excited. I'm excited for it. So, absolutely. But yeah. So, <laughs> I'm always confused when we start. Um, is it like credits? Do I tell stories? I, we're also uh, I getting we... started kind of late, so I'm trying to keep the stories to well, a minimum. Let's, Although let's... that's what the people tune in for. It is. So. But let's get started with credits. Okay, so I'm going to see if I remember what I'm wearing, and you're going to help me out. So okay. one of the first things I want to call out is the jiggly elephant in the room, because we <laughs> called attention to it before, and yeah. as we talked about last time, I got the whole birth like jiggle system, and um, as we struggle bust through the last video, it was it kept changing my size, or just different things would get shifted around, and it wasn't right. Like It kept kind of messing with my core shape and height yes so we what spent like an hour going through that like Whereabouts. just messing with it to kind of test and see what it does so now i finally have the deformers in the system working properly um we went through the jiggles to see which ones were the right ones and you know i'm wearing different ones than i was wearing last time yeah um, what we found was some of the some of the animations come with like built in def deformation mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. was messing with things quite a bit so yeah. we had to filter out which ones were compatible with the look you wanted that we wanted yes that yes <laughs> <laughs> that we wanted yes so um so yeah so i'm pleased to report that after some focused time on sorting through it that we finally have things set up in the way that we both want yes so. absolutely yeah i was really pleased with the results uh, it looks great i agree <laughs> <laughs> it's just enough like it's not too much crazy yeah. it still doesn't make sense to me on some level but you know it's second life doesn't have to <laughs> not everything does i mean i and we've had this conversation before where some things are like a hard no like that's not how that works and then there's yeah. other ones where it's like second life made this better <laughs> yep exactly <laughs> Sometimes you just have to have fun with it. That's right. So, so anyway, birth is not a fliff person designer, but the, it's just, no. it was, it was kind of a big change. And see, here comes another orange cloud. This is why I have my move lock on because <laughs> they're probably like, these people are just standing in the way. I'm trying to walk into the aquarium. Yeah. But and I, I asked you when we landed, cause you seem to have a penchant for landing or parking us on or near the landing. This isn't anywhere near the landing. This mm. is deep into the sim. People just want to see the aquarium for okay. some reason. Okay. I was checking, I was scoping it earlier. There was nobody around. Okay. But now everyone now wants people to check are. the aquarium. We're here and people want to come see. <laughs> that has to be it. Yep. So anyway, let me get through the credits because okay. at this rate, like I said, we barely got started. I'm trying to keep myself in check. Like okay. I need to tell the stories, but I need to keep them brief because it's going to be dinner keep. time. All right. So let's go. Anyway, um, so I have uh, Stealthic hair on. It's Rewind. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, so I have it on without the bangs because I have this cool, we have this cool visor from Stoic. Yes. And so we've had this before. I've worn it before, um, as yep. I noticed. But um, yeah, so we both have, what's the visor called? Uh, it's called Summer Visor. Uh, you have very, the plastic version. Uh -huh. I have the fabric version. Oh, okay. Okay. They also good. have um, optional ears that we've both turned off because yeah, we've got so the horns already. Were they like bunny ears or something? Uh, they're more cat ears. Cat. Yeah, we're not cats. Yeah. I know you're like a cat dad, but I am not. I, yeah, I'm a I dog am. mom. 
Yeah. But anyway, so I opted again because we got started late. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep this fabulous rar jewelry on. <laughs> yes. So what is it? Moonlight? It was like the Moonlight co collection? Moonlit? Uh, yes. It's like moonlit. Yeah. Moonlight or Moonlight. Yeah. yeah. So I still got those on from last time as well as the garters because I love them. They're just a delicate, really nice garter. So I just color changed the stones to match my bikini, which is Roslyn. <laughs> And Rosalind, this is the one I went all, all got all excited about last time because it was for waifu, <laughs> waifu and rolls. So I actually have both on, yes. which, which is which incredible. is a look that we both enjoy. Yeah. Yes, it is. So, and then additionally, let's see, um, what other like Fliff creator you sorts? You have uh, Tori Torricelli uh, sunglasses. Oh on. right, the sunglasses are Tori Torricelli, and the sandals are Pure Poison. Oh, yeah. And um, the sunscreen and the sand are Izzy's. Yes. Separate. Um, and then the bubble blower, is that Hive? It's uh, it's Hive. It yes. is Hive. That's Fliff. And then Minte is my snack. Yep. Yeah. So as far as all the names of things, I, I don't remember. This is like a candy ice cream that I've got uh, on. It is Sweet Summer and Sweet it's the summer. candy Very ice cream cone, yes. oh and my nails are vici so they're the same mm. nails from last week but in uh purple purple because tips. we're going fliff colors here comes a yes. friend is she gonna push you is she gonna pause she's thinking about she's it she's like thinking. Hmm, she's she's gonna these go around me. people are in my way should i plow through them because they're standing on the path yeah hmm or should i just photo bomb anyway <laughs> i'll take the photo bomb she's not gonna push me because i got my move lock on Yep. she'll push you you're gonna get pushed right into the camera so um and then of course i have my alt three on which is i'm still rocking the trilla skin mm -hmm. um which i'm really digging and oh and i also have my imperfections those are izzy's and um i have my body glow my um micro glitter where's she going she uh, just tp out oh no there she goes she walked around oh nice yeah so Very i've nice. got my micro glitter on and um, then for the makeup, the eyeshadow I have on, if you, you can, it's hard to see because I got like some nice purple fliff colored shadow on. That's from Jack Spoon. Um, and it I looks forgot, great. I forgot what it was called, but it's Jack Spoon. And yeah. I think that covers me. Oh, and my, my animations, my poses are all Lyrium. I'm in the Lyrium one because you like that one the best. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. I mean, I know you love Oh My. I'm not trying to say you don't love Oh My, but. Um, yeah. Lyrium has some fun leans that you rather enjoy. Y yes, I do. Yeah. Okay, so let's hear about you. All right. So uh, first, uh, to top everything off, uh, I led today's style because mm -hmm. oh, we that's tipped right. over 200 subs. Every so, 100 subscribers tours in a Speedo. Well, at least this one. Every but. 100 subscribers <laughs> tours in the street. Oh, goodness. So um, that's right. I can't believe I, got, I left that one out. I was just so distracted yeah, by my own out. jiggling <laughs> that I forgot so, that we're in a speedo for a reason. Yeah, that warrants mentioning. Mm -hmm. So thank uh, you, everyone. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for, uh, you know, tuning in to enjoy these and stuff. And it was Pylea that actually brought it to my attention earlier this oh, week. She's hi, like, Pylea. did you see this? And I'm like, what? And I knew what that meant. <laughs> and then I told you what that meant. Oh, maybe that's why she was asking about when if uh, we were getting started. Maybe. Because we see. think we're going to have a Pylea star a sighting. We might. We might. I know we're going to have a Sequoia sighting because we're yeah, friends yeah. now. It's for real. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, goodness. Okay. So let's see. So I'm wearing the uh, Matova for the Hadley Swim Trunks, mm -hmm. is what they're calling that. Um, as mentioned, that is the Stoic Summer Visor. Um, I have the same aviators on as the other day. They're mm -hmm. by Milo. Uh, I've got the Poseidon uh, necklace on from mm -hmm. Butterscotch. Yeah, that's a good one. This is a, a Caligula CA neck towel. Okay. It's got a few good patterns. I thought this was a fun one. So. Yeah. Um, of course, the Izzy's for sunscreen and uh, sand mm -hmm. layers. And um, I've got some flip-flops by Sass, which I hadn't heard of, but I liked these 
uh, and they matched the colors that I wanted to use. So yeah. grab look, them up. They look great. So They're that's uh, oh, and I still have my butterscotch. Oop. Oh, she uh, almost got gotcha. you. Yep. She I've almost she swerved at the last minute. <laughs> Bracelets on. Uh huh. Uh, but you've color matched them now. I've color matched them. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. And uh, oh, yeah, I do have a modulus hair on. Okay. The Benny hair. All right, that Which works nice with the uh, with the visor. Works very well with the visor. It's close enough to the head that I could kind of make it work mm -hmm. without clipping through. So, yeah, I was very happy with how that came out. And so c while you're speaking, can you tell everyone why we're at this particular location? Of course. So uh, last flip, we were uh, we met a sim owner, the sim owner who we were filming at. Um, over there at, uh, oh gosh, why am I blanking on the name of the place? Was it like um, Candy Cotton, Beach? Cotton Candy, yeah. Cotton Candy Bay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she recommended to us this place, Bristly Bottom Beach. Okay. Which is an amusement park and a beach and mm -hmm. all kinds of other things. They have all kinds of different zones and attractions and a like a monorail system that goes around the whole park and stops at each of the cardinal, cardinal directions. Mm -hmm. uh, we have stopped in front of this aquarium mm -hmm. for reasons that you'll know at the end of the flip video. Oh, is it going <laughs> to tie into Tour's first life thoughts? It will. It will. I see. I see. Um, but yeah, this is. I, I was scoping the place out earlier. This is quite an arrangement that they've set up it looks like a lot of fun mm -hmm. um and uh I'd, I'd enjoy exploring this place with you sometime i would enjoy that too yeah so um then i'm gonna go into a little bit of second life news that i have so let me bring up my internet window because mm -hmm. i did get my second life weekly <laughs> mm. and i was a little confused when i first saw it let me bring it up on my other screen so i can see it myself um, so I was confused because the first thing on here is SL Fandom Com. Com, but mm. it says Com, but it says Con in the lower level, so I don't know if that's a typo, but probably meant Con. Yeah. So I'm like, wait, is there like a first life convention for this? Um, which I think they have <laughs> had actually in the beginning. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't continue it, but um, so apparently it's more of a relay for life um, event, which is what I've, mm -hmm. I'm reading, what I'm understanding. So um, there's multiple regions and shops and role play and entertainment. And so that's going on starting today, today to the 31st. Um, then there was Fantastic. A, a destination um, in the weekly, Cheng An. So it's, um, it looks like Asian, oh, China. So mm. it's the grand capital of China's illustrious Tang dynasty. So it's a, rec a recreation of that. Looks oh, good nice. From, from I always like um, when people recreate places in, yeah. in SL and yeah. Yeah, I agree. Then, uh, then they go on to Fresh Looks, which is the um, from the Flickr group, and mm -hmm. it looks like somebody was inspired by the new Barbie movie that's out coming oh, out. Oh, fun! Yeah, and they actually nailed nice. it. Like I'm looking at that, going, yeah, I've seen enough previews because they're hyping this movie so hard right now. Uh, that <laughs> yeah that they nailed it so this is lucky spiriter and Mackenzie mcgregor and it says flawlessly embody the essence of barbie and ken i would agree with that second life absolutely does. you know i have to say from what i've seen it looks like that's uh it looks like that's a much more in-depth and thoughtful movie than i would have expected yeah given the source material but <laughs> you know i that said um you know, it it has always kind of pushed the envelope in its own unique way. So I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. <laughs> yep. So that's all that the uh, Second Life Weekly had in store. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the f um, Fliff page on Seraphim. So okay. Serena Larson says, step into the magic of 50 Linden Fridays. Step into the magic. And... Well, that's perfect for you. Yes, it absolutely <laughs> is. And um, it looks like if anyone's missing today, it's going to be Flora, maybe. So keep that okay. in mind as we hop along. 
How many sponsors Flora. do we have? Uh, we have four sponsors this oh, week. Okay, who are they? Um, we have shoot. <laughs> Sorry, you weren't ready for that question, were you? No, and I was gambling <laughs> through my inventory and clicked on uh, something unrelated, uh, a landmark. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, well, with the styling and everything, I had put the note card away. Uh -huh. I'm on my way back over, but anyway. We you can have, tell us the sponsors, at least, even when we're not Doe, here. Uh -huh. okay, we have Doe. Uh-huh. Okay, Dots. We have Ghoul and Mithril. Ghoul. Okay, and Mithril. Okay, okay. And I'm coming in. Hi, I'm here. I'm are you here. running in? There uh, you are. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Good angle for the camera. Perfect. <laughs> I think with your arrival, we are ready to actually flip. All right. That's the wrong angle. You got. Oh, that's good too. That's cute. <laughs> I prefer the other angle. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Ready well, to go? we'll get started. Okay. All right, tour. Where are we? We are at Doe, our first sponsor. Doe, and we look adorable. Yes. So, what is the item that has made us both so adorable? Well, we've got uh, these wings, which are the Neon Dreams wing, mm -hmm. Neon Dream wings. Yep. And Mama Lala likes to ask, "Do you really buy everything?" And uh, by evidence, by these wings. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> she thought sometimes I'd just say that I'm like no and she's like, like really? do you wear all the things I'm like yes well mostly I was like well, I have yeah, I can change outfits like every day probably every hour if I wanted to yeah when it makes it out of our unpacking right um, yeah but it comes in but handy when I am trying does. to style for something I just dive into my objects folder and to see what comes out and yeah, it's all and it's this flip useful. goodness yeah, it's especially useful having all these fliff creators yeah. giving us just all this stuff to yeah. <laughs> pick up. Yeah. So, yeah, we thought these were great. Also, they happen to match our color scheme. So. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh... All right. So now what the breakdown is that it's every one of these behind us is 50, right? Oh, uh, there's well, a fat there's pack. the fat pack in the middle here, which oh. is 200. It's all okay. the packs. Yeah. Um, okay. So, but they've yeah. got a lot of varieties, pink and purple, yellow and blue, green, black, white, red, and rainbow and neon. And because yeah. we're fliff coloring it up today, we got the one purple to white one. Yes. So. Um, it's also, I don't know if this is intended, mm -hmm. but the moon dust halo over here, each mm -hmm. of the packs there is 50 linden as well. So that yeah. might be considered a okay. fliff offering. Okay. Well, let me let me sure let me check intended. my Seraphim website. Hang on a second. We'll pull okay. that back up and see if that's what uh, they had intended. It might be so. an unofficial uh, fliff bonus. <laughs> so do no dots do no nope. It was un it was an unintentional fliff bonus. All right. So you can also get these moon dust halo. Mm -hmm. uh, each of the packs for each of the three halos is fifty linden. Okay. Very good. Yeah. All right. Are we good to go? We are good to go. All right, here we are. Where is here? <laughs> We're at Dots. Dots. And what does Dots have for us today? Dots has this fun little squirt gun. Are you going to shoot it? Yeah. I was adjusting the size a little bit. Oh, you sure you're shooting it right at the camera. That is perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. And it has a little sound effect and everything. I hear it. A good thing I turned my sounds back on. It is. It is. So, okay. So we're at Dots. They have a squirt gun. And there is each color 50 linden? Each color independently is 50 linden. Okay. And right. the way it works is you attach it. And then you can just hold down mouse to click. And it'll, uh, you can start squirting. All right. Are you squirting that orange cloud that's in front of us? That might be Sequoia. I'm not sure. It Sequoia, is Sequoia said she was going to come. There's like a few orange clouds here, so I'm not sure which orange cloud is her. It's it's the one that's right in front of you. Okay. Well, say hi to her in local. Let her know that I'm recording, so I'm not typing at the moment. Uh, 
Oh, it's sorry, it's Sequoia and her crew. What? She brought an yeah. entourage? <laughs> wow. Okay, so tell her to like introduce because I'm calling out. Let her know I'm actually recording. So I see she's sipping drinks. She's got look at her today. Look at her. Tell her I'm panning. I'm camming in tight. I see her cute little dog. She is she's got it going on today. I mean, she's got it going on every time I see her. I'm waiting for yeah, her crew so to res. Like, I'm curious to see who she is. It just one person? No, there's another person uh, back there. Is that her people I, too? I don't. I don't know if that's her people. I don't think that's her people too. No, just I the one closest just... to her. That's still an orange yeah. spot for me. Yeah. Oh, I hope you get to see her. Her friend, because her friend's just as perfect as fabulous. As Sequoia. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, she just popped in. Okay, let's see. Oh wow. Yeah, look she's at got a her. Great, amazing. Look. I think I have that she, cup. You do have that glass. You've you've rocked that. Oh, cup. You've double fisted look at those. her. <laughs> Tell her friend that I am camming her hard, like that. Wow, the both of them. How come I've never <laughs> seen this friend with her before? <laughs> I'm asking. <laughs> uh... I like she's got a little like movement going on in the waist. Look at the both of them. They're just chill as fuck, you know? Just stylish, shopping, living their yeah. best life. Love it. Oh, and okay, so her friend uh says she also loves the YouTube channel, so Aww. she must have passed it along. Oh nice. Okay, what's her friend's name? I know this is Sequoia, and what's Sequoia's friend's name? Um it's Duchess. I'm trying to read the other bit. <laughs> Is it you characters? Might you might. Oh, that's her sister. Oh. You may have to interface on to read this. Okay. I, so you, okay, you can't make I, it I, out I besides to, Duchess. I can't read characters. Duch Duchess Candy. Is it Candy? In in is it dots? Enclaves. Enclave. Duchess Con Candy Enclave, but there's dots. Enclaves. It's in her my story. Duchess oh. Candy Enclaves. Right, you're right. Oh, okay. That's Very fabulous. Good. Look at the both of them. <laughs> so I hope you've told them both I'm recording and that's why I'm not typing and I'm totally talking them up. Um yeah, I, I have. <laughs> So, you know, sometimes I do turn my interface on because then I start typing and doing my little bounce. So I'm just going to type to I can't resist. Yep, yeah, yep. please do. <laughs> uh, let's see. What are the... Okay. So that is... Odd Doll is the... Okay. Looks like Odd Doll is the outfit that Duchess is rocking. Sequoia's sister. <laughs> <laughs> Ride or die, sister. I, uh, I love that. I love the love. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog has a name. Sassy What's, Gal. Uh, uh, Genja? Genha? Genja? I think it's Genja. I think so. She is a sassy looking dog. <laughs> so yeah i was saying i love that we're really friends now and i'm not just calling you my friend when i see you when i see you actually shopping. Shopping. Yes, absolutely <laughs> <laughs> yes she recognized the outfit from last week's sale yeah yeah that was such a great offering by roslyn <laughs> oh this is great i love that <laughs> duchess candy has some 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 of her own jiggles going on uh-huh yep we're in the jiggle club jiggle club yep what a good cub club <laughs> see you bouncing yes <laughs> that's right <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, so 
we can probably wind down here. Yeah, we're just going to spend the whole flip yeah, talking. Gonna... Well, yeah. we can bring them along if they want to come with us, but we should keep <laughs> moving for sure. Yep, yep. All right. Okay, Tori, we have an entourage now. We have joined entourages. <laughs> my avatar looks broken on my screen. I don't know what oh. she looks like on yours, but she's like... Looks great on mine. Freaked out for a second. There we go, back oh. into it. Okay, so where are we? We're still We're uh, at only cool. doing sponsors. <laughs> We're still on sponsors, yes. <laughs> okay, so we're at Ghoul, and what do they have for us? They have the Sayaka 2.0 cosplay. This looks uh -huh. like maybe it's an update. I'm not positive, but okay. this is rigged for Legacy, Perky, Eborn, Reborn, and Waifu. Ooh. I guess you I'll be wearing a, it. You get a bodysuit with the sleeves and the little fur uh -huh. uh, accent, which I like that. You know how yeah. we talk about how it should connect the sleeves? I yes. Like they've got that little fur yes. bit. That we've works. got... Um, I think I don't know if the collar is part of that. It probably is. It looks so like it. I was gonna ask because I wouldn't want that part. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'd want the rest of it. It looks like it is, but let's see if it says anything. About oh wait, no. Okay, so HUD driven two versions per color, plain and latex and glitter, gloves, suit, fur, and collar, all separate pieces. Nice. So you can mix and match what they you want to do. They don't force here. it on you. Yeah, love that. Love yeah. that ghoul. Four yep. color textures, so you can do uh, plain white and black and glitter white and black, and mm -hmm. you can do the fur in either white or black. You can, of course, as with any ghoul product, make it sheer or of opaque. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've seen them make a piece of clothing you couldn't make sheer. Right? And so, <laughs> I love it. Is Each it, color is 50 lit. Oh, that's a lot of color choices. The villain pack is 11.50. The villain. Oh, that's all of them. That's what they're calling the fat pack. Yeah, they I call it the I don't think I knew that before. I I don't know. Maybe that's new. Um, huh. That I don't think I've noticed that before either. Okay. But you know, might be a new thing. This is kind of a new store. Mm-hmm. So, uh, well, okay. I'm looking inside the store. They previously called things monster packs. Gotcha. So maybe they're branding this as villain packs now. Or maybe it's something altogether different. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe so. so. Yeah, All right. so love it. Yeah, I'm going to have to pick this up. I don't know if I want the villain pack. What color should I get? Um. Well, you should at least get uh, the violent there. <laughs> violent? Because it's yeah. the fliff color? Yeah. Maybe okay. galaxy. I don't know. I, yeah, I was thinking galaxy was catching my eye. I think I'll pick that galaxy one up. Galaxy looks fun. Yeah. Okay. I like I'll galaxy. Pick that one up. All right. So I'll pick that up and we'll keep moving. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Tour, where are we? We are at Mithril. Mithril with our friends Sequoia and Candy. <laughs> yes. All right. And so what is Mithril? They look so good still. They do. <laughs> I was just commenting on it. Like, look at them. Mm -hmm. It's just posing all cute over there. <laughs> and I know they made comments in local. They, there's, I think they're still making comments in local. You'll have to read that for me. Uh, we're we're commenting on that. The uh, we wish they had letters on the oh on the keys. Opera, oh, opera, uh, yeah, that is so cute. I love this item though. The keyboard as yeah. a planter. I could agree, a... I would agree with them. Letters on the keyboard would have added an extra layer. It would have absolutely. But it's still lovely. It is. So it it's is. these two items. I'm going to let you talk about it because you're the Mithril guy. Yeah, so it looks like you can change the colors of the keys and the keyboard independently, which is a mm -hmm. nice touch. Love that. Mm -hmm. um, it is a partial keyboard, so they don't have the numeric keypad. They don't have the arrow keys, <laughs> home, mm -hmm. you know, page down, etc. Uh and as noted, they don't have the actual letters on the keys, but not a big deal. It just looks great. It's a, yeah, it's a planter keyboard. Uh, they also have this thing they're calling the wall organizer shelf. It's like okay. you've got a little built-in book sh bookshelf, um, and one of those twisty uh, kind of miniature lattices that we both like. You know, in a vase and uh oh in a vase you say in a vase mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, another one that's just kind of growing off the side these are both wonderful items and i'm of course getting them both because i love this 
And so each vendor is 50 linden, right? Uh, yes, each of the you get each of these colors separately, which mm -hmm. I'm I suppose I'm a little I'm not sure where you could get the fat pack of the keyboard, which has me a little concerned because mm -hmm. I like the idea of being able to change the keyboard and keys independently. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't be able to do that if I'm just buying a set color mm -hmm. unless unless it's like other mythical things where you can where you're just buying part of the colors because like in the pictures it looks like each of these has two it looks like they're each inverted of each other okay so like the white keys and the beige keyboard you mm -hmm. can do instead the invert of that okay yeah. so maybe that's what they're going for yeah I either see way that. I see that I like it I got both of course so. you did of course you did yeah Okay, I think I will pick up a couple of variations of this myself. Fantastic. And any any uh, commentary from the sisters? Uh, not beyond that. Not beyond not them beyond... wanting the letters on the keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which I agree with, but not a big deal. <laughs> All right, very good. Then we'll keep moving. Okay. All right, so where where are we? We're at Add Andel, which um. We went on actually... an adventure. <laughs> Yeah, so the note card has the wrong destination, uh -huh. and uh, Places Search also has the wrong destination. I had to look up the creator's picks. Thankfully, we had ADD mm -hmm. and all stuff. But it looks like and, they've uh, redone their store, so they probably moved. And yeah, somebody else set up shop. Move. So they've moved adjacent to the horror, which mm -hmm. we love, and Never Wish. Okay. Uh, so they're all sharing a space now. Okay. And uh, we've got these astrological eyes, Those are which pretty. they are. And uh, yeah, so Duchess says that she loves the eyes. Sequoia says, "Cute eyes, I like them." <laughs> <laughs> and I, I concur. These are yeah. Great. So they're bomb, and it includes bomb mesh eyes. And yeah, I think is it's fifty for the the whole of them, right? You don't pay fifty per color. Correct. It's fifty for the whole of them. They come with. They come with uh, uh, rigged eyes that you can use, but mm -hmm. also you can just use the layer ones, or if you've got eyes that will work with bomb, that okay. should work with those. Um, and I don't know how closely you've punched in. Mm -hmm. The eyes are divided across all the zodiac symbols. Yeah, is, I did actually yeah. push in to see okay. that. So nice. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice touch. So it is. Okay, so yeah, I think I'll go ahead and pick those up, and we'll keep moving. Did we get I'm, all the did we get all the commentary from the sisters? I'm asking actually um what their signs are. <laughs> Cuz I'm a Taurus, you're a Capricorn, yep. and what are they? Yep. Duchess. If they're Taurus uh, and Capricorn too, I'm going to have a, a laugh. <laughs> Candy is Aries and okay. Sequoia is Sagittarius. Oh, okay. We got a nice little mix going on. <laughs> did you tell them our signs? I did. I did. Okay. Okay. All right. Are we ready to keep it moving? We are. On right now. Well, okay. I am turning this on. Too. I've already started the recording because I, okay. well, you were bringing me over to the store and you're like, everyone's here. And I'm like, what do you mean everyone? It's Zipper. It's Barb. It's Pylia. And they all have signs. And who's this? Who's Candy? Wait, is it Candy? No. Candy. Okay, so Candy, Candy is holding a sign, and Benson. I think they're just handing out signs to people. Is Pylia paying people to hold signs? Because I only have amazing. I only have like four yellow people on my screen because they're on my friends list. <laughs> but Candy's name is familiar, so why am I not placing it? Unless I've seen her fliffing. Um, oh my but, gosh! Wow, wow. Well, I, uh, let's see. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to. Where do I have those? I need to go do my little smooches to all of them. Everyone holding a sign. I'm going to go smooch like, like zipper smooches. Cause I have okay. these. That's so, fine. Is it? So I'm going to smooch you. Smooch for you. <laughs> Smooch for you. Let me go over here with my wobbly camera. 
because I wasn't intending to walk. Smooch for you. Smooch yeah. for Candy. Because I, he, she's holding a sign too. Here you go, Candy. I'm gonna smooch you. There you go. Smooches for you. Smooches for Benson. It looks like I'm kissing, kissing his crotch, but that's not what I meant. Okay. I kissed everyone. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's incredible. And the people movers got me. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna stand Very with the sisters. Okay. All right. I'm gonna guess. Can't. Wow. I'm just gonna stand over here. This is amazing. <laughs> oh gosh. This is. <laughs> wow. So good. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you all so much. Yeah, look at them. This is amazing. <laughs> And I love that it's just, it's the Pileo waving a side right? post that she it... used at Wasabi Pills. <laughs> oh, oh that's so this good. This is fabulous. This is so good. <laughs> Get a tour. <laughs> and, okay, so. Okay. So, you know, I can't help but bring this up. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I love all of this and I also love that the sign includes a typo. What? I don't think it's intentional. <laughs> but congrats congrats I, uh, tats. Uh, congrats tats. Cong congrats tats. But we know what she meant. <laughs> we know what she meant. Oh. And I, I don't know, maybe Pylia knows that I like calling out typos. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Uh, oh gosh! Well, <laughs> and so I, yep. I don't know if people know. <laughs> yeah, she left her platform. Barb is the mastermind behind Fliff. Yeah, we have so, mentioned it before, yeah. but this is this is Barb with the um, very strange mask and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Zipper's <laughs> killing it over here. She's wearing one of her latest skins. Yeah, I think Barb just... is wearing one of the uh, one of the fantasy skins as well. And if people didn't know, I type like I type because of um, Zipper. So like, if I go stand next to her, I'm her chubby cousin, which we've talked about before, right? So uh -huh. I'm just gonna type typing <laughs> like zipper have to illustrate yes the, the for wiggly. the people <laughs> absolutely <laughs> uh, yep because i i wiggle when i type because of zipper and there she goes she's leaving <laughs> oh she looks so good She does. She's got a whole <laughs> thing going on with this, the scaly bits on the sides and everything. Yep. Yep, and she's showing off her typer too. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> if if we had gotten Hi started or, or, earlier, I was I gonna I, actually. I, I wanted to mention that um, it's too late to, for anyone to go to, but all three was doing a uh, an alien uh, party. Oh, for people to bring their sexy alien looks. Oh yeah, when did they did they already do it? Yeah, it was earlier today. Oh, that's they why they're all alien. That's why. That's why they're all aliened up. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> uh. All right, so should we? <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to stand over here because we're actually at Aloe. <laughs> and Aloe's item is back here. I'm leaving uh, my interface yeah, on I so guess, people can see. I guess we see. can look at Aloe's yeah, item. Yeah, we'll look at what Aloe has to offer in, in the midst of the celebration. 
It's the Nyla purse. Fits Legacy Maitreya, Reborn Mounds, and Waifu. So, nice. you know, I could wear it, but it doesn't look like it works with uh, rolls, so I don't know. But um, it probably is enough clearance. Oh, here comes uh, Candy. I don't know if Candy or Sequoia made any comments about the purse. Everybody's been, we've been so festive now. <laughs> what's nice to meet you. I was like, what's NTMU again? Nice to meet you. <laughs> yep. So is, is, um, so Sequoia and, and Candy, did they know Zipper and Barb and? I'm not that... sure. Um, let me, yeah, actually, let me. Yeah, oh, so... you keep talking about the item. Yeah, so I think I've talked it up already. So it's 15 Linden. You buy the fat pack, I believe. Um, yeah, that's the only thing for purchase. So fat pack and you have color options here on the HUDs. So you have the bag, the strap, and the metals. And, and oh, and it includes a loose and a tight version. So I would probably be able to wear that. So I think I'm going to pick that up and try it out. And actually I can because my interface is on. So 50 linen for the fat pack. Sure enough. There we go. All right. So did Barb go back to her platform? Nope, she's still there. <laughs> All right. And we got Tay in the, in the trees. And uh, I wanted, so Candy, I swear her name, <coughs> I, re I recognize it. And um, Benson, thank you for the signs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you're giving Pylea a shout out. That's right. We got to link Pylea again in the description because yes. I'm sure she was behind this. Oh, yeah. So, you know it. Yeah. She's I'll make good. sure that. I'll make sure that we got that. And she's got it. that little halo. She's got the purse on. She's got the purse on from here. It looks good oh, on yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. It does. So that's the <laughs> that's this purse. That's this purse, I believe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it does look great. Zipper wants a sip. All right. So I got. Life of Pylea added to the links. <laughs> Zipper wants a sip, yeah. Yeah. You've got ice cream. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh man, this has been great. Yeah. <laughs> One hundred mantis. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, gosh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww. Aww. laughs> oh, this is awesome. Yep. <laughs> we gotta keep up with her too yeah yep i'm trying to get it from uh, all the angles get all the, get the people get the signs get barb because she actually left her platform i gotta capture her it's a barb yeah, sighting that's that is a rare sighting yeah oops i lost my camera behind the thing here we go back at it right, right on zipper's butt where it belongs there we go <laughs> so okay one sec. One sec what? Oh, well, noth uh, nothing on this. I'm just trying to capture a photo. Okay. <laughs> so I should say tours pi taking pictures, and then we're off to the next, right? Yeah, basically. Should I fade but, yeah, us out we can, while we... we can fade out, yeah. All right. I, so... I'll sort this out. Okay. Sounds good. All right. I'm still kind of beside myself. I know. <laughs> and I have to say for the record, I remembered where Candy was from. <laughs> yes. It's Muffins Milkers, but you were saying that's not in her profile. So yeah, maybe she's maybe, moved on. But maybe moved on, yeah. I haven't been actively delivering in the system. So I, it's been a while. So I saw her name and I'm like, where do I know the name? And then I was telling you from in between scenes that 
I play multiple avatars. So yes. I have different groups of people on different avatars and, um, you know, for role play and, and whatnot. So sometimes it takes me a minute to remember, is it, wait, do I know that person on this avatar? Or was it a different right. one? So, right. yes, I know what it was. I finally yeah. remembered, but it was after I had already cut. And I was like, well, and I, I just have it. I just have a questionable memory, so, you know. It's better than mine. <laughs> but anyway, we're here with the sisters and yes, the Blanches. Candy and uh, Sequoia. Yep. Candy and Sequoia. And we're at, where are we at? We're at NC Limited. And looks like they have food or dessert or something? They always have these these uh, dishes from mostly Europe. This one's mm -hmm. Delizia al Limon, Ooh. which is apparently... A uh, sponge cake filled with lemon cream, brushed with lemon cello saw, a syrup, Ooh. and covered in a lemon and whipped cream glaze. This is a super traditional, super popular dish from Naples, Italy. Well, it's already making me pucker up because that's a <laughs> lot of lemon. That's a, a lot, lot of lemon. lemon flavor in a dessert. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know that that would be my speed in first life. I'm not big into lemony <laughs> things, especially if they're excessively am. lemony. Oh, I'm all for it. So you would devour I, this? I would absolutely devour this. All right. Well, I'm sure you bought it then. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you tend to buy the food items for us anyway, most of the time. So yes. did um, our sister friends have any comments about the lemon dessert? Yes. So uh, what, oh, one of them actually looked up what I was already oh. reading about. Yeah. Uh -huh, um, uh -huh. Yes. Uh, so, but we also both agree that they kind of also look like boobs on a plate. Is... <laughs> they do. They absolutely do. Yep. Uh, let's Can't see. argue they with that. They have a little bit more detail. Um, not quite what I had come up with. I'm not sure. Okay, so Lemon Delight or Delizia al Limon, synonymous with the Amalfi Coast. These mini sponge cakes filled and coated with lemon custard were created in 1978 by Carmine Carmine Marzulio, hmm. uh, a pastry chef from the Al Amalfi Coast. And the Lemon Delight immediately became one of Campania's most fav popular desserts. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. All right. So you've picked it up. I will probably sample it at some point, but I think we're good to go. All right. Sounds good. Tour. Yes. I have to mix it up. Because was it Candy who stole my line, or was it Sequoia? Um, it's Candy. Like Candy, I feel like Candy just got here and she's already stealing my lines. <laughs> Sequoia has yeah. been here a little longer. Yeah, she chimes <laughs> she's in. She's like, where, where are we, we now, to her? I'm like, damn, I am predictable. <laughs> so I gotta mix it up. I take that as a challenge. I am not offended at all. I hope she knows that. <laughs> but I'm like, okay, we've been doing this long enough, and I keep asking the same things. So. I, I don't know. I'm kind of on the spot. Maybe I need to ask Simon what are other ways. Simon, for those who don't know, is what I have called chat GPT. <laughs> you could always hit us so. with a donde estamos ahora. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you are fluent in Spanish now. Thanks well, to Duolingo. No, not, I would not say fluent. <laughs> but that sounded pretty good. Oh, thank you. De nada. <laughs> so, okay. So, uh, donde, donde estamos, tour? <laughs> uh... Uh, we are at Avani. I was like, did you lose sight of it again? Like, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, so I was I was trying to try and force a translation oh, on the spot, too, yeah. but, but I, I, I couldn't You had a there. glitch. You glitched out. Yeah, yeah, I had a glitch, so okay. I just defaulted to English. Okay, um, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> felt the pressure and failed. <laughs> um, uh, and we have this Byron collection. We have I was going to say stone balls on a table? No, they're uh, tilted vases. Oh, they're still they're stilted, tilted stone ball vases. Yeah, actually, okay. I guess they're calling them tilted vessels, but I'm gonna oh, still call gonna them go vases because vase. I enjoy yeah. saying vase. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, and we also have the Byron Collection dining table and bench. I like the the table and bench. Not that I don't I like do the vases. I mean, they're very decorative. The, the dining table and bench looks very sturdy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, that's a really nice one. I, I'm curious. Uh, I'm going to try out some of the sits in it just to see. Okay. Uh, that one's got my face through the table. Well, you couldn't put the stone balls right there because then you'd be shoving your face into it. Yeah. 
So, but it's 50 oh, yeah. linden for the stone balls and 50 linden for the table setup? Yes, for the table, table and setup. bench. Yeah. Table and bench. And then yeah. you can put a bench on both sides or whatever. Okay. And what does Sequoia and Candy think? Uh, they, they're they just still laughing about stealing your lines. <laughs> like we got you girl we taking your lines yeah but you are. she says you do it best so. Ah, she's sweet she's sweet <laughs> all right you just squirt and then squirt <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> all right very good okay i'm gonna leave this to you because you're the decor man yep i already and... picked these up i love right. them i like the table especially yeah me too. i think it looks i'm you sure know, you'll find adequately it sturdy it. yep yeah okay are we good to go we are tour mm -hmm. i feel like i can hear sequoia and candy across the way like <laughs> i they have the script look they're perfectly posed they know the lines i mean granted it's not hard because <laughs> i say same thing where are we now tour and then off to the next like i say and i i i've caught this early on and i tried to rephrase like you know I think it's, all right I think it's I, like i would say all right a lot I think it's fun to have kind of our, our pseudo catchphrases, though. Yeah, like you where know? are we now, tour? <laughs> it, it gives people something to laugh about. And Apparently, kind of. It's like I wonder what Lala's <laughs> gonna say. Wait a minute, I yeah. know I could say it verbatim. <laughs> I wonder though if you're gonna pronounce this the way that Mama Lala would want. You know I am. Okay, so please tell us where we are. Nosotros estamos <gasps> en la tienda belleza. Oh, qué bueno. Look at you. You practice. You're like, let me get my sentence ready. Yeah, I had I I, I kind of constructed that in my head and uh -huh. had it a little ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Estamos en la tienda belleza. Y yes. ellos tienen sí. lipstick. I don't even know how to say lipstick in Spanish. Uh, Somebody uh, probably hmm. does out there. I don't know if their uh, sisters do. <laughs> I don't know. But don't know. um I'm sure Mama Lala will be typing it in all caps in the comments. It's I'm curious. this. Let me check. It's, uh, what? That doesn't sound <laughs> right. La, lapis, laba, lapis labial? Lapis labial? Yeah. Because, well, I mean, well, when you, I think labia, and we know what those lips are, but yeah. that's not the lips we're talking about. <laughs> no. That's what, the, it's what it says, though, is el la, lapis labial. Okay. All right. We'll see what Mama Lala has to say. Yeah, maybe so. there's a different word. Maybe. For Puerto Ricans, maybe there's a different word. Yeah. So, anyway. So, the it's lipstick at Belleza. Belleza. It's Kels, Kelsey HD Lipsticks. Um, Evo X Mesh Head Only. Um, all of the colors for 50 so you know I bought it. I yes. love a glossy lip. I love this palette. I love the range of colors. It's not your normal... You know, pinks and reds, although pink Candy and reds agrees. are She in says there. they're great color options and yeah. giving big summer vibes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Could not agree with Candy more. Did Sequoia have anything to say? Uh, cute lip colors. <laughs> Very good. All right. I picked these up already when I was waiting for stuff to res, so I think we're good to go. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Okay, Tur. I have to say that... Mm -hmm. Sequoia and Candy coming with us is very enjoyable, and it is. <laughs> they are quickly becoming pros at this. And yeah. like, I find myself now positioning myself in relation to them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, look where they went to stand. I need to balance. Yeah. So, yep. so yeah. So I'm Love enjoying it. having them along. But um, I, I now I'm like feeling self conscious. Like I don't want to say just what I always say, but you're feeling like I should. So. I Where are we, to her? So. <laughs> we're at Bonnie. Bonnie. One of, you, one of your favorite One of my stores. favorites, of, for sure. I, I, and I certainly enjoy it as well. <laughs> yep. And they have something called... I hear picture taking. Is one of them taking pictures? I'm uh, not sure. Chloe set. I can set. never tell who's doing it. No, yeah, I know. Chloe, set. Chloe for Legacy and Reborn. And it's offered mm -hmm. in navy and cream. There is yeah. a fat pack here in the store. Usually it's like the opposite wall. But um, I picked up both of these so it's 50 linen per color and i don't know how much the fat pack is so i don't know if I you don't see it see it on the opposite wall so. i'm looking around in this room mm -hmm. i don't see it in this room okay so it's going to be a little deeper in the store probably. so people might have to go hunting a little bit might have to go hunting because a little bit there is a fat pack option because the sign says so 
Single is it. copy and fat pack is copy mod. Fat pack is 2000. Normally ah. the colors are 300 each. Okay, gotcha. If people are curious, you go through the door and it's immediately around the corner on the wall. Okay. And yeah. what have our sisters commented on this outfit? Yeah, so uh, Candy, let's see. Uh, Sequoia says she loves the dress. She sure got it. Um, <laughs> Look at this Dutch, girl. Uh, <laughs> I love her AO. <laughs> Candy says cute dress, but would need to cover my cuckoo. <laughs> but uh, uh, Sequoia tells her to let it hang out, girl. Aww. And... <laughs> oh, funny. And here we've got someone just uh, dancing up close, it up. And, you know, doing a lean like I'm sure you appreciate. <laughs> well, although she's probably a little skinny on top. Yeah. Anyway, bye, friend. Okay, so are we good to go? We are good to go. All right, I'm starting before tour is fully ready because this gal up front was just striking to me. I think she's trying on the hair. It doesn't look like it fits her exactly right. But uh, she's I mean, working it. Maybe she's got resizing the it. Yeah. Yeah. But she has a fun shape. She has a very interesting you know, shape. I appreciate a curvy shape and a unique avatar. As Pylia recognized very early on. She's like, yes. if you want to get a shout out in her video, just be a very unique looking avatar. So <laughs> anyway, the sisters are lined up. We're ready to go. I know you were talking to Zipper for a minute. But yeah, I'm um, all good. Are you ready? Okay, so tell the people where we are. We're at Bon Bon. Bon Bon. And we have hair. We have the uh, Halara, Halara hair. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. I like and it. And it's got a nice fade to it. It does. Bon it's... Bon always has pretty good fades. They do. I, they I do. I enjoy that. And they have like fun styles. Like they're not what you would usually see around. There's There's a little bit of a different feel to them. Yeah, for sure. So, which I enjoy. So. And Kenji says it's a cute pixie hairstyle. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. So, yeah. 50 linden for the two color packs on either side and the fat packs in the middle, which remind me, is it what, like 300 linden or something? Uh, Let's see. The fat pack or the one in the middle? 310. Yeah. 310. Yep. See, I knew it was something like that, which yep. is still not very bad for all those colors. Not at all. Yeah. So. So I will probably pick up the 250 Linden ones because that's a pretty good deal. And um, then I think we're good. What are, what are yep. the sisters saying? What do they uh, think? Sequoia says cute style. The face got to fit it right, though. So, yeah, true. Which, She's true. Yep. Yeah. She is correct. And what about Candy? Uh, she was the one who said it was a cute oh. pixie style. Oh, right, right. I look like she was talking some more, though, because I saw her lips moving. Yep. So no further commentary? No. Okay, that means we're good to go. Yeah. Okay, Tour, I want you to know for the record that I am pushed in pretty tight because it's tight in here and there's people around and I'm eventually going to camera around to see the sisters because I want to see how they position themselves. Yep, yep. Because that's been a fun part of this process for me. It's like, where are the sisters going to put themselves in proximity to the fliff <laughs> item? And then how do I capture them in my footage? So, Absolutely. Where are we, Tour? We're at Broken Arrows. Broken Arrows. As I came around the item, I'm going to see there is Sequoia. And Candy, I think, is still in Orange Cloud. But I'm sure oh, she'll okay. pop in in a minute. <laughs> okay. So yeah. we have what? Go for it. So we have two items here. We've got uh, one which is a shelf with all kinds of goodies on it. Mm -hmm. uh, they are calling this, uh, what are they calling this? Sparrow? Silver shelf. Okay. Hmm. Is it because of the plate? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, so it's part of the Sparrow set, I suppose. Okay. Um, and you've got cutting boards and cups and all kinds of things so that's fun i like the addition of the plant mm -hmm. and then we have uh a the other half of the sparrow set the wall hanger which looks like it's aprons and the like mm -hmm. uh cooking aprons so i i need that i don't actually have like yeah we need that to hang in the kitchen cooking aprons yeah, yeah. that would be perfect yeah okay any and commentary from the sisters Mm, not yet. Uh, it looks like Sequoia <laughs> popped in. Okay, let's see. Well, Sequoia was always in. Oh, there's Candy. Candy was missing for me. She was a cloud. Oh, 
I was the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's funny. So, the girl in the distance behind them also has a drink. <laughs> People know how yeah. to go out. It's like, let me take yes. my drinks and everything. Okay, so yeah, no. Especially with how hot it is out. <laughs> no kidding. So no commentary from the sisters then on the uh, the dick. Nope, line? not on this no? stuff. All right, no, no. Maybe they're not into it. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, you know, decor is, is more my bag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Are we good to go? Uh, yes. All right. Tour, tell everyone where we are. We are at Clover. All right. And what does Clover have to offer? A playmate for Sassy Gal Genja. This is a werewolf pup. <laughs> nice call over to Sequoia's puppy. <laughs> Because it took me a minute. I'm like, sassy what? Oh, right. Sassy gal. Sassy gal. Is it Genja? Genja. Genja, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, werewolf pup from Clover. Yep. And um, you're going to read the text on that? Yeah. An adorable werewolf pup that is surprisingly tame for being such a ferocious creature. The animesh animated pet that wiggles in your arms. Comes in eight different color options. White, black, beige, brown, dark red, midnight, frost, and dark green. Huh. Part of me wants to somebody to get it so we can see it wiggle, but I don't think anyone's gonna get it. <laughs> well, I I grabbed it, but I've oh, got, did you? I've got my, yeah, oh, got you've my got your squirt cut. thing on. So, okay, so we'll have to see one time how it wiggles. Because for me, that sort of thing doesn't work because I have you know I have plenty in my front. Candy's definitely got it, getting it, but her hands are full too. Yeah, she's got a drink, uh, but she <laughs> says a werewolf pup. I have to get it. I love, love, love. <laughs> I mentioned about a playmate to, to, for the sassy gal, and she went on saying, right, he better not try to eat her, though. <laughs> right? That's <laughs> oh, too good. Okay, so 50 Linen and you two can have a werewolf pup. <laughs> yes. All right, no commentary from uh, Candy on this one? Not beyond that, no. All right, then let's keep rolling. <laughs> okay. All right, Tour, tell the people where we are now. We are at DP Yum Yum. Oh, I see the back now. First, I thought it was just kind of like a, like an updo, but the back is nice too. It's like double ponytails. Yeah, it's like twin. Yeah, twin tails. Yeah, twin tails. That's a nice way to say it. Yeah. So the, um, a lot of twin tails go to the sides. I like that this one goes mm, to the back. Actually, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. that's nice. So this is number T25, because I know they don't give it names, they just give them numbers. Yes, T25, and specifically the uh, O2 color pack, mm -hmm. ash gray plus black. Yeah, I think I'll pick that up. the fliff price. The others are 300 each for the color packs, and the fat pack is 690 Okay. Um, Candy says it's a cute hairstyle, but it's not for her. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sequoia says that it's cute, girly. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick it up because I'm going to try to rock it. But, <clears throat> okay, the scroll in the front of us, she has it on. Oh, I don't yeah. like the way that looks. It looks great. Mm -hmm. Looks great on her. Yeah, I like the naturalness of it. Like, it doesn't look too perfect, you know? Mm hmm. So, it looks good. All right, I think I'll try it out. And then, otherwise, we're good to go, right? Mm hmm. All right, tour. Tell the people where we are now. <laughs> Mixing it up. Oh, I'm trying. I've been trying okay. to mix it up the last few. Yeah. I'm surprised you're just now commenting on it. <laughs> yeah. I've noticed, but uh -huh. this one sounded very deliberate. Um, <laughs> I'll try to work on making it sound more natural. <laughs> We're at Elicatera. <laughs> Elicatera, and by the looks of that vendor there, I don't think it's hair. It's not hair. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's this little dress number, the flutter dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think the ruffles will work very oh, well. No, with that's you, not going to work on unfortunately. me at all. They're going to look but all blown see. out and distorted. It is for well, I don't. Oh, Lara Legacy Reborn. Okay. So Four if you're a skinny set, girl, and it comes with panties built in, which that's is nice. good. I appreciate a panty built in. Yeah, but the style of dress does not work mm -hmm. on my shape. So no, I am not. very curious, as Sequoia and Candy are curvy girls themselves, what they think of this dress. 
Mm, they they agree with you. It is a nice flowy dress, but it is not for them. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. Yep. Lovely, but not for us curvy girls. So. <laughs> Now, I have to ask, because we're at Ella Katira, are we walking over to Fridays? Are they on the list? Are we they are not? not. They are They're not, not on, the on the list? Nope. All right. All right. <laughs> then that means we're off to the next. Yep. All right, Tour. I know where we are, and you know I'm trying to mix it up. And I was chuckling over the girls here, <laughs> the sisters, as my avatar goes noob for a minute again, for whatever reason. But... Hmm. um. They were, it looked to me like they were like, where do we stand? Where do we stand? Where do we stand? We'll just stand in the middle. <laughs> yep. So, and they, they're killing it. They are owning the middle. Yes. So anyway, I know where we are because I know this crate. And Absolutely. I like saying the name, even though you're telling me it's just one of them, but it's floor plan and brocante because yes. they're in the same place. But you always add a little asterisk, which is. Uh, uh, I Astro oh, well, wait, what? <laughs> I had an asterisk? Yeah, because I was, I'm telling you, you did it before we started recording. I'm like, I want it, it's floor plan brante. And you're like, well, it's specifically floor plan. Like, that's oh. your, your asterisk. <laughs> okay. Yes, and you sorry. were totally not prepared for me. No, no, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are yes, at... We are specifically at floor play. <laughs> yes, thank you, Tor, for being so on top of it. I hope you can hear me eye-rolling right now. Well, so I I didn't think... So I was like, <laughs> if I'm correct or again, am I just being pedantic? Because I've already said this. But I, yeah, you're recording now. I get mm -hmm. it. Go ahead, be pedantic. It's okay. <laughs> If I ask you a oh, leading gosh. question, just yes. answer it instead mm -hmm. of, hmm, what? What is it? What? No, I don't need that. I just need the <laughs> answer I'm expecting you to give, and then you yeah, don't give it. I, I, I get it. I see. Yeah. I see what you're trying to yeah. do yes. belatedly. That's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. All right. <laughs> we have plenty of alphabet left to go through, so, so it'll yeah. be fine. Okay. So we're at floor plan, and it's decor, so I'm going to let you talk about it. Go. Okay, so first and foremost, have to say it is specifically the two ones that are on the side of the crate nearest us. So okay. it's these two that are the fliff offerings. Okay, well, that top one definitely makes me think uh, Southern California, but it might also make you think Florida. It does. Yeah, absolutely mm -hmm. does. And that's actually what uh, Candy said as well. Said Did it they works both well with, no, just the queen with her Florida landscape on her land. Oh, which nice. Apparently, she's got a Florida vibe going on. Okay. The other one's a seagull. Well, you like birds. I do like birds. I got mm -hmm. both of the fliff ones. Of you but did. they also have a bunch of other ones, which are yeah. 99 lindens each. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I like this, uh, like, rolling waves onto the beach one. Uh, mm -hmm. In the bottom right yep. there. Mm hmm. Uh, and I don't know, they, they have a lot of nice ones. I also like some of these quad pictures. Those yeah. are 65 each. Yeah. Those are fun. This, All of these would be great in any sort of like beach house mm -hmm. setup. Mm -hmm. Like great wall decor. For sure. For those. Absolutely. Maybe and that would be help, help us in that one build that we have down on the beach. Oh, you know. As you were commenting on how empty the walls are. Could, yeah. Yeah. It could. Definitely could. The, the house kind of has that vibe a little bit. Yeah. Anyway. Um, did... I also don't want to miss out on the things on top of the crate. Oh, These uh -huh. are fun. Oh. We've got icy coolers and then these fun <laughs> signs. We've got oh. fish and swim. We've got surf and siesta. We've got nude and prude, uh -huh. beach and bar, and surf and turf. Gotcha. <laughs> Love uh, it. Those are good. The one that caught yeah. my eye was nude and prude. That's yeah, where my eye nude went and immediately. Prude is... Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, I, I, I picked that one up and Surf and Siesta because mm -hmm. that one amuses me as well. So we lost Candy as well. Did they decide they were taking off now? Maybe, maybe. And that's okay. <laughs> they've, they've hung with us for quite a while. I they get have, it. They have. <laughs> it takes a while, you know? When we flip, it's like three hours. Who wants to do that for yes, three hours? Yes, I know, I know. Well, Especially. people do. They listen to us, but they probably listen to us in parts. <laughs> right. And so. they also get a trimmed down version where they don't have to... Oh, that's true. They don't get the full three hours. It's like an hour. They and don't a half. get the full three hours. Yeah. 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 All right. So, well, maybe we should go find out if they went to the next one. 
<laughs> All right. So like, we're going to get ahead of him. We're going to meet him at the next stop. All right. All right, Tour, I'm just going to go back to what works. Where are we? <laughs> we're at Flora. Flora. Mm -hmm. And what do they have here for us? They've got this lovely little daisy top. Mm -hmm. It looks like you can uh, shift uh, shift it to be pseudo transparent and have flowers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is nice. It's got kind of a corset look to it. So yeah, and you can get it in these two color packs, fifty linden per color pack. And That's a pretty good deal. Say my tray of my legacy and reborn. You already said that. I did not. No, oh, you were getting there probably. I wasn't getting there. I'm oh. glad you remembered. I couldn't it find it bottom. actually. It's at the bottom. Well, I missed that. Oh, it's <laughs> so you probably have better lighting. You might have have it have it on a. I'm in a really shared dark. environment. Okay, so you see it very dark here. Yes. Okay. But I, I had just, just pushed in to see the colors, and then I saw oh, a text clever. underneath. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see the I didn't see the text underneath at all. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's darker on your screen. Or well, maybe I, I hadn't. I hadn't punched in that close. You know what I think it is, is I didn't bump up from Broken Arrows. Oh. So I'm still in lower settings. Okay. So that's probably it. Yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> probably. Right. All right. Well, there you go. If you're looking for a top, here you go. And I think we are good. Are you ready to go off to the next? Uh, well, let's oh, see. Oh, commentary. Sequoia. Right. Sister yeah. commentary. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, Sequoia says that's cute top that she loves the soft colors and candy says that she thinks it's a cute top but wishes it worked with juicy boobs and i agree oh, that top yeah. is begging for a juicy mug. and i can tell candy is a juicy fan oh yeah because that's she's rocking it yeah she is absolutely yeah. rocking it yep definitely caught my eye <laughs> it's like work yeah. the juice for sure we love the juicy we love the waifu they mm -hmm. are fantastic mods yep Okay, well, let's head over to the next and I'll put my settings back up so okay. I can shine bright like a diamond and have things truly <laughs> dark. Absolutely. All right, Tour, I know where we are, but I'm going to ask you anyway, because clearly the people love it. <laughs> Tour, where are we? We're at Izzy's. We're at Izzy's. Now, oh, I hear a, I hear a little one. Is there a little one here? No, no. No, it's uh, a gesture? It's a gesture. Okay, because, you know, I do the littles now, and so I hear plenty of these gestures, so I'm like, is there a toddly <laughs> do nearby? No. Nope. Okay, so so we're at Izzy's, and you had an interesting reaction when you landed, because <laughs> you come to the store before me, and you, then you bring me over. You yes. landed, and you went, ew. And I'm like, ew? Yeah. Like, literally just like that, <laughs> ew. And I'm like, that's not something you utter, uh, like, ever. Like, what is it? And I'm like, you have me worried because if you're saying ew, is it going to be something that grosses me out? Because I get grossed out easily. You do. Uh, you get grossed out by very specific things. Like gory uh, things. Yeah, gory things. So we get which, here. Which I have much higher tolerance for. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> because you you had a reaction to this. Yep. And I want to know more. And I want to know what the sisters think of this. Um. So they, they both immediately said dirty ears i don't want dirty ears <laughs> and one of the gestures that you picked up was one of them was saying um <laughs> ah so that was the kid sound i heard yep yeah gotcha. <clears throat> now you I know i actually it. have a kid one where the the yep. whole gesture is ew just like that <laughs> yeah uh they do agree and i agree with them that it is nicely done it's very <laughs> well made uh-huh but um yeah, I, I, I'm a little bit picky about cleaning my ears. I guess uh -huh. uh, it's it's one of the areas that I'm very particular about. Interesting. Um, and uh, uh, it, the the looking at that just makes my skin crawl a bit. Like I, I saw that and I immediately reached up to start rubbing my ear. Like, <laughs> oh, I need to get that off. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can have dirty human ears. You can have dirty cow ears, a.k.a. Elf, yep. And they got you covered. You can have dirty ears and multi-skin tones. <laughs> as long as you've got an Evo X head. True. Yep. 
Well, I, I am venturing a guess that you're going to pass on this one. I'm going to pass. Yeah, I'm going to pass because I really have no need for this. And no, I, I but... don't think the sisters are going to get it. No, however... There are definitely, you know, RP settings. Oh, for sure. Or what have you, that this would it be makes absolute for. sense because Izzy's actually makes like body dirt and stuff. Yes. And yes. so it doesn't make sense for you to have a fully dirty body and then clean ears. <laughs> That's true. So she's completing that set that I'm assuming she. They are completing that set that they've created already to get the dirty look that apparently mm -hmm. did not include the ears. <laughs> so. Well, or maybe so, uh, the, this version of yours. You know how you need that special layer. Right, exactly. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Is that sometimes you have to get the extra map to get onto yep. the ears. Yep, that's clearly what she's doing here. They, sorry. Yep. I don't like to assume. Yep. So. True, true. All right. Well, I think we're good to go then. That was a very interesting conversation about ears. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go wash my ears and we'll continue on. All right. Sounds good. We might need a minute then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're, clearly the sisters know the trick here at <laughs> Le Lapu. That you gotta get, on get up wall. on this little wall or else that people mover is gonna knock the shit out of you. Yep, it's, so, it's an aggressive one. It and it's real close to the, it's real close to the wall too. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it right now. I'm surprised those guys aren't getting knocked about. Well, they're off to the side far enough. Um, it's basically it's aligned to be directly in front of the fliff item mm. so <laughs> which makes it really awkward to look at the fliff item <laughs> right it does. Uh, but anyway all right but we are here at le la pew which is a name i enjoy saying le la pew le yes. la pew and we have who seat Seat <laughs> yes. by Le La Pew. Why are you laughing? Did I say it wrong? Uh, just you no. Know, some other commentary. I'll get to it later. Seat. <laughs> okay. So um, it's fifty linen for the skin. It's available in this pale tone, which pretty much always is. And I'm it not is. gonna ruin the commentary because I'll let you share that. But I agree with the sisters, so I'll let you kind of dive into that. Yeah. Uh, so Candy mentioned that it's a nice skin. It would be nice if it came in a sharp shade darker as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I agreed with her. Um, it's something that you and I have mentioned in the past that it would be nice if they offered more than just one skin tone. It's always pale. It'd be it's nice if pale. when they show up, maybe they do a different skin tone, a little darker. Show us the yeah. full line, you know? Yeah, exactly. I'm not asking for all the skins for 50 London. You know, I know that's a lot, but... Yeah, they can just pick a pick a random shade each week or, you know, mm -hmm. mix it up a little bit. Would be nice. Yeah. Because it is always pale. It is. Um, the comment that had me chuckling was Candy said she missed the memo to stand on this side. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Well, the thing is, I think Sequoia is throwing it off because she's standing by us as opposed to standing I know. by Candy to keep things balanced. But, but that's fine. Know, sometimes asymmetrical is fun. Yeah. Yeah. And now, well, now someone else is trying to add some well, symmetry, is but it, they is just it, smashed into a wall. Is it, or is it the people mover chucked him over the wall? I, th I think it's the latter. Yeah, I think so too. Because <laughs> it seems like Candy's getting hit by people because she's standing on the side of the wall that the people mover throws <laughs> avatars at. Yep. Yep. So. I'm going to give a people mover demo. I haven't done this oh, before. Oh, okay. Here. Hang on. Let me, let me cam back. Okay. All okay. Right. Hang on. Hang on. I got to cam you. Okay. You're going to give a. Okay, that's the people yep, mover. Yep, yep. Yep. Okay, I'll put you on the step. <laughs> so, you gonna try it again? Where's the get yep. back on the people mover? Yep. Oh, okay, yep, yep, and now okay. over here. Yep. So it's okay. very aggressive. It is. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready then, right? Yep. Unless we are. you want to play around with the people mover somewhere. Nope, we're good. We're okay. good. All right. Looks like Sequoia is back on the same page as Candy. Mm -hmm. And they're both on that side. But, Tour, where are we? We're at Minimal. Minimal. And what do they have for us today? They've got two chairs. We've got one they're calling the uh, Chum Chumpeter rolling chair and the Chumpeter white chair. Okay. So the rolling chair, it's got the, uh, the like, wicker type wraps, which they I guess they're calling rolling. Okay. Uh, and it's got a drape over the top, which... Mm -hmm. I think makes it look nice and lived in. I yeah. always appreciate that. Mm -hmm. and the other uh, also looks quite worn and 
and lived in. Yeah. Uh, so I, I picked both Those of these are up. Great. They're quite nice. Yeah. Would be nice if they had color options, but I uh, can't complain. It's a good one. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, Candy likes the chair with the cloth in it. I, I agree. It adds some character to it for mm -hmm, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and being that it's decor, that's a lot largely your domain. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I have some a few items that I pick up, but yeah. Now, one nice part that I I'll, I'll say to you know builder types out there, I say it would be nice if it had other colors. Mm -hmm. However, I also see that it is modifiable, and they're white, which means you can tint this uh pretty readily mm -hmm. so you know it's not actually kind of a deal breaker you can just you can just do it that way yeah very true mm -hmm. all right any commentaries from the sisters is part from i think you said candy like the one with the towel on it yep that's all okay very good we're off to the next yes all right tutor where are we we're at Narmataru. Narmataru. These are striking. Mm -hmm. Very striking. I and like it's the funny. Flames, infernal, infernal eyeshadows. It's amusing to me that when I was getting ready, I had Narmataru <laughs> on eyeliners. And you had them on the mind. Yeah, you were thinking about and it. And I was like, wait, should I look for more more Narmataru eyeliners? Because I always would then just default. I've been defaulting to Jack yeah. Spoon. And yes. and then we had a little conversation about how Narmataru makes a variety of things, and we were already short on time, and so I just Googled, not Googled, <laughs> typed in my inventory, <laughs> and and it just I just went for Jack Spoon because I knew I could get something real quick. Um, so it's it's amusing to me that Narmataru Narmataru would be here with the eyeliners. Um, yeah. And I I kind of like I know one of these will match my outfit, so I kind of want to switch to it. In in the middle of this in the in the middle of yeah, the I video see that, here. That, that nice purple one. Well, like, there's like two the in the middle, but it's like was one purpley and one's violet. I'm not sure. Are you t thinking more the one to the right or to the left? I think the one to the left would match a little better, but I can't tell for sure. Yeah. A lot of it has to do with how it would play off of your skin. skin tone. Yeah. yeah. So one of those two in the middle for sure. Yeah. So it says previously released at Harajuku, so another event mm. I assume. Evo X Bomb Eyeshadows includes eight base eyeshadows, eight graphic liners, and three regular liners. Looks Very shown nice. in icons above are combination examples. That's good. I like all the detail there. Like, no confusion. I do too. So, yeah. 50, 50 linden, and you get the whole of it, right? Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. And what do the sisters think? Uh, cute for a dramatic look on a blog, and Sequoia agrees with uh, Candy on that. Mm hmm. Or cute when uh, Lala wants to put it on in the middle of a video. That's yeah. cute too. Yeah, so, I mean, it is a dramatic look, and we are doing is. a vlog, which. True, yeah. we are very much vlogging right now. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm going to pick these up. So 50 Linden's a steal, and I'm going to put them on between takes, and I think okay. we're good for the next. Sounds good. All right, tour, where are we? We are at North Oak. North Oak. And what are they selling today? And that they cheap, that have... Be out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They have uh -huh. two things. So they've got that uh, couch that you're on. Uh-huh. Uh, which they're calling the Mu Muir. Okay. M-U-I-R. Outdoor couch. Muir? Muir. M-U-I-R? Like John M -U -I -R? Muir? M-U-I-R? Yeah. Sure. I, I don't know them. You don't know and them? Then, no, sorry. It's a California thing, I think. Okay. Um, and then we have the Riku coffee table and uh, Aimee side table, both as a package. So I want to bring up my internet window. So I'm okay. bringing up that window because I want to put Muir in there, John Muir. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't know who that is, but it's well. also a California thing. John <laughs> Muir. So yeah, I don't know anything about them. John Muir was noted for being an ecological thinker, political spokesman, and environmental advocate. It's it's huh. cut off on my screen. Um, whose writings became a personal guide into nature for many. Oh wow! And Someone I should know. So it's there's a historical site, but I, I want to say that a forest or a park. Yeah, see, John Muir Na National Historic Site. Mm. That's a government, a national park. 
and then John Muir Yosemite National Park. So John Muir has inspired Yosemite's travelers to see under the, yeah, the, it's cut off on my screen, but um, mm. so yeah, so that's why it came to mind for me because Muir is a name I've heard here in California. Yeah. So yeah, so that's what I wanted to share. <laughs> Okay, let me take my internet window down. Okay, back to so, furniture. Back to furniture. Uh -huh. It does warrant saying there are several nice sits in that couch. However, uh -huh. despite it being a couch, it is a single sitter. Yes. Uh, so people should be aware of that if you are getting it. It's not one you're going to be able to, at least out of the box, share with someone. Mm -hmm. But, of course, you can. it is using AV sitter, so you can change things up. If you're comfortable doing that, which I am. Um, <laughs> you are very comfortable with that sort of thing. Yes. Uh, it looks like it's very customizable. You can change the cushions and the frame, which is nice. And you've got, as I said, this coffee table and end table, which I really like both of those. They mm -hmm. look really good together. So this is a very smart, uh, chill uh, space set mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by North Oak. I agree. So not bad either for 50 linden per item. So mm -hmm. for tables and couch separate. So, mm -hmm. okay. Did you pick them up? I did, yes. And what's the commentary from the sisters? Uh, they were surprised there were no couples poses in it as well. Mm -hmm. And are glad to know that. Uh, but they agree that it's cute and worth getting. So. Okay. Very good. Yep. Ready for the next? Mm -hmm. All right, Tour, before we say where we are, I have to say it's been a while since we've seen Masumi. It has. And she is rocking quite the look today. She looks like she's taken all kinds of care of herself, and I <laughs> approve. <laughs> That's I so funny. Look at Confess her. Confess your love for me via cash. We've look got. Look at her. Wow. <laughs> got, got a mask going on, got herself a chicken. That's why wing. I was like, I had to check and see if she was really there because sometimes she's just AFK. <laughs> and she was really there. And I said, You're about to be in our video. She's got herself hot pickles. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. I love everything right, about this. The big snail slippers. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a look. <laughs> she says, No in the world about to see my shopping look. <laughs> That's right. You've been exposed, Misumi. She doesn't always look like that, though. <laughs> she no, usually has no. a cute little outfit on. And this is cute in its own special way. <laughs> I just like that she's so relaxed. She emotes covering her face with the pickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. So, so good. while I'm camming the shit out of her, we're down here on a mat, a rug, a towel. We are at Peaches, and yes, this is the Summer Lovin' Towel. Aww. And which then... you can get in adult or PG, both for the 50 price, which is great. And Sequoia has taken up on one, and Candy standing off to the side. But yep. um, Summer Lovin' Towel in Tropics. So you get the Tropic Prince, three land impacts for 50 Linden, adult, oh, of adult or PG for 50. Mm hmm. And then next door, they have a Saturday sale, and it's uh, Paisley's Paradise Chair. That's cool. Yeah. Pasley's yeah, these... probably Pasley, not Paisley. Pa Pasley, yeah. 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 These are all kind of great. I'm getting both the Saturday sale and... Oh, the Saturday sale item is only 50 as well, so okay. it's basically Fliff. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just call it Fliff. Anything so. sold for 50 Lindens on Friday Fliff. is Fliff. And so I, you know what I like about the chair is that they have a full diversion that like goes against the wall. I like that. I dig that. That's a nice you can touch. Have that, you can have them set out and have one yep. just like that against the, and it looks like you're all ready. Yeah. I swear one of the sisters must be taking pictures because I you keep hearing that Polaroid you know sound. They are. Uh -huh. And so you haven't, we haven't figured out which sister it is. No, I don't know how to tell because they're not emoting. You can ask them. Like they're you not doing the, uh, oh, I yeah, Did they use? There used to be a gesture, it didn't? It wasn't there with that sound. Well, yeah. If you don't have an AO on, if you're still doing the noob stand, uh -huh. then yeah, your hands go up like yeah. you're taking a picture. Yeah, that's yep. funny. Okay, yep. so any commentary from the sisters or Masumi? Oh, they're all just vibing on each other and <laughs> just absolutely gushing about how, how 
amazing <laughs> each other look and being envious of the mouth chicken oh yeah the mouth chicken <laughs> that had me for sure like and her now now, now Candy is admiring your uh, booty jiggle too, because <laughs> it is very pronounced in that uh, sideways lay. It is. I, I did notice that. So, if I come <laughs> around the side, yep, I got a very pronounced booty jiggle for sure. <laughs> so, all right, are we are we good to go? I love this. I love this little <laughs> assortment of people here. It's a fun fun group. <laughs> uh yeah yeah we're yeah. good to go all right the entourage is growing we have brought <laughs> masumi along with us and i'm trying to figure out what the fifth the fliff item is is this umbrella hat back here it's this umbrella hat yeah all right so umbrella so it's hat. got two color options uh -huh. one where it's those uh rainbow like tricolor or quad colors and one where it's just black and white mm -hmm. Yeah. 50 linen for the umbrella hat. <laughs> and what yep. What do the sisters plus Masumi think? Uh, Candy thinks that it's a great hat for these sort of heat advisory days. You can stay <laughs> cool and in the shade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Masumi, Masumi's, she apparently got an umbrella hat. Uh, two weeks ago or so for 200 oh. linen. Aww. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't think I would have an umbrella hat. <laughs> nah, I, it's not for me either, but <laughs> I'm still amused by it. And I mean, it is hot out. It is. It is. If I had to spend a long time out, outdoors, I would probably see about getting something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I would agree. All right, yep. so we only have a few more stops left. Yes. So what, three more now? Uh, three more stops, yep. All right, well, let's keep going. Okay. Tour. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Well, uh, y'all have decided to challenge a clown to uh, to a dance party. What? I only dance. see you. What are you talking about? Oh. You're, you're dancing over there on the platform all by yourself. I didn't realize where you're starting the game. <laughs> okay. Are, are you that excited to be at Seven Emporium? Yes. I yeah. Am. Well, the initial plan was we were all standing here, and I was asking Candy what happened to Sequoia, and she said Sequoia yeah. crashed. And then yes. Masumi was like, "Oh, the dancing clown," and then she made a comment about how she feels like we should dance battle him. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. You stop dancing, but we must still be dancing. So here we oh, are. Yeah, I saw you AO stop your AO, your aggressive AO. There we go. I so we're over AO. here challenging this clown to a dance battle. And I think we, we've got our own dance crew over here. <laughs> you do. Yeah, we're killing it. You, you absolutely are. Thanks to Masumi it. animating all of us. <laughs> so we've got a dance battle going on. But how about we get back to you and your sexy Speedo <laughs> dancing over there? Oops, as my camera goes crazy. So you are over here. Look at you. You are so happy. <laughs> so what? Tell us, Tour. I were at Seven Emporium, and you're clearly thrilled. So why don't you tell us about the items? Well, first up, we have these acrylic frames, which you mm -hmm. can put your own picture in. Okay. They come in blue, green, yellow, and uh, red. Uh-huh. Kind of a more of a magenta than a red. Okay. I guess they're calling it pink. Anyway, uh, so that's fantastic. We always love frames, and these uh -huh. are some really nice frames. Yeah. Um, they are uh, each, you know, separate uh, frames. They're not, they're mm -hmm. not a quad arrangement like this. And though you can arrange them that way. Mm -hmm. So you get that. Uh, the other one is called. Give me a reason. I need you tonight. Oh. Yeah. So we've got a uh, very wet lip look. Mm -hmm. You know, very sexy parted lips going on. Talking about sexy watching you on that platform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we've got sexy lips in the portrait. 
Yeah, and I'm trying to read the text in there, but this one is... Oh, the hidden message. This one I can't read. In the upper left, there's some text. On the lips? In the upper left? Uh, upper left from the lips. In the, in the just oh, purple. Oh, okay. I can't make out that lettering at all. Normally I can, but this one... Oh, I got, yeah. Looks like the very last word is stoner. Okay. On its own, but I don't know if that's accurate. I don't know, yeah. Because if you tip your camera, you can kind of see it. Yeah. It's in cursive. Something smile. Which makes it more the first line, I think, ends in smile, maybe? I could see that as smile. Yeah. I wish August Kov or whatever his name is would just get back to you. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> He's so mysterious and elusive. <laughs> I should reach out again. I, I <laughs> just be again. a little persistent until he bans yeah. you from his sim. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, we don't want that. But um, yeah, I'm sure you'd be very polite. I don't see anybody banning you. Have you ever been banned from anywhere? Yes. I, f I feel like you were going to say that because mm -hmm. it would probably be from somebody who was not um, of the same mindset. Uh, yeah, I've been banned for talking politics in places where they don't want politics talked because uh, when people say some bullshit, I call it out. The you problem do. is you do. the people who say some bullshit, their bullshit is framed in a way that makes it seem innocuous. Okay. So only the pushback on it seems political. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, and so people, uh, people like to play that game and that's the problem. So it's like, it's, it's the bar problem, right? If you have a bar and someone comes in, uh, even if they're wearing like, you know, Nazi shit, uh, if they're just acting polite or whatever and the bar has like a neutral attitude well they're gonna allow that even if the person's wearing nazi shit and then they're gonna mm -hmm. invite their buddy and then you've got two people in there who are you know acting polite ish but they're branding they're like brandishing their politics mm -hmm. and driving out other people slowly and eventually they bring some more friends and eventually they're <laughs> not quite so nice but uh -huh, at that point uh -huh. you have a nazi bar and that's just how it works. Yeah. You, you, you have to confront stuff. You can't be neutral. And yes, this is interjected outside of the tour talk period. Yeah. But you know. <laughs> and it, I'm just the what you're you're not seeing it, but what you're what you're talking about, playing over what I'm seeing, <laughs> is very amusing because it clearly does not match. Well. I think it does in a, in, in a, in a certain oh? way. This is what, this is something that we've talked about is our community uh -huh. that we've, that we've kind of developed. It's carefully curated specifically because we don't tolerate that shit. Yeah. We don't invite those people to our circle. So these lovely people feel welcome. Yes. They know that they're welcome because they know that we've got their back. Yeah. <laughs> but what I'm saying so, is all the depth of what you're talking about and the uh -huh. meaning of it juxtaposed uh -huh. against a bunch of curvy girls dancing off a clown with uh -huh. you and a speedo dancing on the platform by the item. Yeah. It's just that is amusing to me in my head. Like it, the it two images a, don't go together. It's but you're saying a they juxtaposition. Do. I'm saying they do because, uh, you know, our, our attitude towards that makes this possible. This is the ultimate goal. <laughs> I see. A bunch of just diverse curvy girls dancing <laughs> with clown. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. All right. Well, I'm sure the ladies are like, what is taking them so long on this one? It's art <laughs> and frames. <laughs> but you know, yep. you have to tell them tour launched into a thought. And so, yep. you know, and we yep. were just too tempting over here dance battling the clown to make this a short visit <laughs> yeah. and we had to give sequoia a chance to come back and join and the has. dance crew which she has yep yep 
So now that Sequoia's here, we won. We won. All right. Perfect. We beat the clown. All, All right. right. We're good. <laughs> All right, tour. Where are we? We're at This Is Wrong. This Is Wrong with our dance crew. <laughs> with our dance crew, yes. That was so fun. Okay, uh, so uh, what do we have here? You're squirting, uh, squirting like crazy, but what do we got? Yeah, I'm helping cool people off because that was yeah. a lot of dancing. Now, is this the uh, first time that I recognize that um, Sequoia's little puppy actually changes position? Like, I she was holding it the before. same way the whole time, and now it's, like, in her uh, face. Now it's bouncing her. <laughs> I, she's probably like, Mommy, why is this taking so long? Why? <laughs> I want treats. Mommy. I want to go home. Okay, we're almost <laughs> there, puppy. Okay, so what what do we have here? This is wrong. This is the, uh, they call it the 11 Nosebleed 3D. 11 Nosebleed 3D. Yeah, so you can have a bloody nose if you want. Uh -huh. And it's got a little bit of a 3D shine effect if oh. you've got materials and such. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, you know me and blood, so... <laughs> uh, and so, Candy says, now if I see any of you with this bloody nose, I'm going to strap up and be ready. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. <laughs> yes. I am not about to have a bloody nose like this, but I no. can sleep better knowing that Candy has my back. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, yep, and Sequoia agrees. <laughs> Got to be ready to take him down. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, it could, but yes, this is the kind of thing, especially that could be good in RP uh, uh -huh. sort of setup. Um, could mix it with dirty ears. <laughs> could you could you wouldn't? But yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if I was trying to do that kind of RP, you know, I would, because uh, you know that's part that's part of the scene. But yeah. <laughs> So, were you going to say something else here? Oh, yes, I was. Okay. Because you so, said something at the onset that you wouldn't tell right. me what it was. Okay, so sometimes we are amused at the names of vendors. And mm -hmm. this vendor's name, I was cl I was clicking in to, fi to check on, like, a couple things. Because I, I like to check on prices, et cetera, whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I noticed that this vendor who normally is Ava Artem Artemisia mm -hmm. or something. I'm used to seeing that name. That's not the name I saw. Okay. The name I saw was that she changed it to is Cake and Sodomy. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's that just... very different. It's very different. <laughs> like, I want to see this now. So if I hover over it, yeah. Cake and Sodomy. <laughs> Cake and Eva Artemisia, the creator, is now Cake and Sodomy. Okay. She changed it two days ago. Yep. <laughs> uh, you dug deep just, on that one. Well, I was just like, wait, who? Because I've never seen that before. <laughs> I was like, Whoa. I would have remembered that one. All right. <laughs> so, <yeah>. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. All right, so what kind of commentary do we have from the dance crew besides uh, strapping up? <laughs> well, now we're vibing about Halloween being soon, and they're excited. Soon. That there's also like a, uh, I think they're checking out the the heart that is somewhere here. <laughs> heart stone, uh, bloody heart. Okay. Stone. Oh, I can't imagine what these all, these three ladies would be doing. Oh, I imagine they do some wild I stuff mean, for Halloween. I mean, look at them. They're stylish <laughs> as it is. I can't imagine yeah. what they do for Halloween. I'm sure Costume it's killer, it literally. Yeah. So that'll be yeah. a fun, fun thing to see. Yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to have to do a, a Halloween get together. We should, we should. We're I gonna, think we, like I said, I think, be a fun party. I think you're going to end up running a club again, even though you don't really intend on running a club again. <laughs> like, it's not going to be like a club in the true sense of the word. Right. right? It'll just be It'll a, do our just to be stratagem. We're going to have friends yep. over and we're going to have a dance yep. or a party or whatever. So, yep, yeah, yep. that'd be fun. All right. Well, this is penultimate. Yes. So we have one more stop with these lovely ladies. Yep. And uh, then it's going to be time for your closing thoughts. So are you ready to go? All right, we are at the final 
destination with our lovely dance crew, which I have enjoyed so much. Like the this video has been amazing because we had Sequoia and her sister Candy join us, and that was great. And then mm. we had the surprise at Aloe. Yes. And then we picked up Masumi. And yep. then we dance battled a clown. <laughs> Yep. This fliff has been an absolute party. Oh, it's been it's been absolutely worthy of the 200 subscriber. Absolutely. Yep. So I'm glad you're doing it in a speedo, <laughs> and me in this wonderful <laughs> bikini. So. Yeah, you look so good. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we are at the final destination, and uh, I'm going to ask you for shits and giggles because the people want to hear it. Tour, where are we? <laughs> We're at Valentina E. <laughs> All right, uh, Valentina E. And you told me 50-50. And I was like, what do you mean 50-50? Yep. So the one on the left, which is the Petra Ensemble, is only for Legacy and Lara. Mm -hmm. However, the one on the right is for yeah, the Caroline dress. It. And it is for <laughs> Reborn, Legacy, and Lara. So this one here, the olive colored one, mm -hmm. is the one that has Reborn. And this one here, yes. the pink one, does not. And I was yep. like, but look at that top. It's just begging to be I reborn. Know. I love those strained buttons and everything, mm -hmm. but they didn't do it. No. So, so I picked up the olive one because, you know, I want to support good. Valentina and encourage them to continue to make for reborn because yes, they please. have, they have. Please. And it's yep. the sexy as ever. It's even sexier on a curvy girl. It is. So. We love we love the reborn, and that's what that's what all the girls are saying in local. Mm -hmm. All the, the sisters, the Masumi. <laughs> Masumi says, "What you got about against Va reborn, huh?" And she <laughs> removes her earrings and gets Vaseline. Ah. I don't know what she has in mind. Oh, what do you do with the Vaseline? I don't know. <laughs> I get the taking the earrings off because if you're about to like throw down, you don't want your hoops <laughs> becoming something that you can get hurt with. Yeah. So. Oh, did she finish her facial treatment? Because she just took off her face mask, I think. Oh, oh, well, maybe she's done with the facial treatment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so. gosh, and yeah, now they're now they're saying that we're we're they're so glad that they got to run with us, and they know that you've got to go eat soon. Mm-hmm. So. They're yeah. Saying their well, goodbyes. Yeah, so. we're probably going to have to start saying goodbyes, but um, yeah. So that's the Valentina E offering mm -hmm. is this, the Petra Ensemble and this Caroline dress. Okay, well, I picked up the one that fits me, and then yes. I'm going to go ahead and fade out so I can say my goodbyes, and we can go yes. do closing thoughts. These girls are getting restless. All right, let's <laughs> yep. say goodbyes, and we'll be right back. Okay. This is too good. All right. I had to put my camera back on because they were like huddling up. They were moving around because they knew it was going to be time to go. And they're like, picture time. <laughs> and somebody's been lighting up that their Polaroid this whole time. One of the two sisters, Candy or Sequoia, has been Polaroiding it up this whole time. But yep. look at us. And, and even Masumi made sure to take her mask off for the picture. Oh, my gosh. Love that. Love yeah. that so much. This is fantastic. <laughs> so i'm getting it for posterity on the video side you're taking your own picture right yes i am okay and then they're getting there so we'll i just wanted to come back and show that and then next we'll be back with tours closing thoughts all right tour we have had a lot of fun this evening we really have so i want to again thank sequoia candy and masumi for joining us tonight. I also want to thank Pylia for arranging that wonderful surprise with yeah. Zipper and Barb and Candy. And was it Benton? Was the, Benton the gentleman's name? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then just, it was just a, a wonderful surprise. So thank you, Pylia, for setting that up and the that signs. Was, that really, that really made our night. That was amazing. Like, it was already amazing uh, having. <laughs> getting the company of sequoia and and candy and then mm -hmm. later masumi but oh my gosh just uh just the that whole 200 celebration was yeah so unexpected and it really we love was that. 
I really, I just thought that was the, a really thoughtful thing to do. I'm really it touched. It was. Yeah. It was. So, but now we are at the end of our video, so that means it's time for tour talk, or also known as uh, your thoughts on um, first life. Yeah. Okay, so this is something I wanted to talk about anyway, and when I saw that this place had an aquarium that was not just decorative, but also informative, uh, you can see these, you know, signs on the wall. They're actually, they actually teach about uh, tide pools and the reefs and all the life that you can see in the reefs. And the reason why this has been on my mind is right now with the summer heat being as it is and the ocean waters warming as they are because of our addiction to burning fossil fuels and the like. Uh, down in the Florida Keys, here in my home state, our reefs are going through the process that's called bleaching. Uh, bleaching is when they start losing their color uh, because their the reef's life itself is, and the health of it is being endangered. It's under a lot of stress. And when the reef starts to die, all of the little critters that rely on the reef start to die off. When all the critters that rely on the reef start to die off, that impacts all of the bigger fish and such, which rely on those critters. And like entire ecosystems are starting to collapse right now. Um, one of the problems with, uh, with this and is countries like America are going to we're the ones contributing to this the most but we're also the ones who are going to experience the actual effects of it the la like last because we're going to offset as much as we can just to keep people continuing to live as they live and ignore the impacts and offload all of the detriment to other places to the extent that we can. That means, you know, buying up food supplies in other places as they start to dry up. Um, that means, you know, continuing to just burn whatever we want and shore up our shorelines while places in like the global south, especially get hammered by, um, by more turbulent flooding and the like and there's uh, the ent the environmental justice aspect of this I don't think it's enough coverage <clears throat> where like we're we're actively watching a, a a mass extinction event kind of in progress of all kinds of species and it doesn't really get uh, get highlighted enough. Um, people really do need to start doing more, and it's not something that individuals can do. Yeah, you can try and cut down here and there on your own usage, but like the reality is, the wealthiest out there and the biggest corporations out there and such. They're the ones who are doing a vast majority of the damage, and we don't have reach into those spaces as individuals, except for through organized, like, direct action sort of things. Um, and what I mean by that is there have been a number of people who have done uh, protests of, like, um, sabotage and vandalism and the like uh, both of actual like drilling sites as well as of different buildings or art installations to draw attention to this and the art installations one in particular people seem confused about and they're critical of and they're like well you know you shouldn't go after art just because you're mad about the climate but the point that's being made that I guess 
people don't really want to come to terms with is that art will be meaningless if humanity cannot survive in order to appreciate it. So it's it's trying to get people to wake the fuck up and actually in mass call for action on this stuff because uh, you know the the people who need to do it they need to be pressured into doing it it is it is more profitable for them to continue to set fire to the planet that we all rely on and to force the effects of that to hit the poorest nations in the world first and they're counting on dying off themselves of old age before it actually bites them in the ass. But if anyone has kids or cares about the <laughs> continued survival of the species over most of the planet, then we really do need to get this under control. Um, I have included two links, one about specifically the Florida Keys coral bleaching that's in progress, that is being observed. Um, the other is kind of just a what to know about coral bleaching in general, as well as the steps that will be needed to stop it, to keep the temperatures at a, at a level that is safe for the reefs, to continue to provide a safe and robust ecosystem for all of the aquatic life that, yes, we absolutely do rely on. Um, so yeah, that's why I was so thrilled about uh, about seeing this aquarium here and seeing some of the uh, educational material on the wall. And there's actually several installations here at the beach uh, about different animals and stuff, but this one caught my eye because it was already something I wanted to talk about anyway. So yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that's very interesting. I was looking over the links that you had. Mm -hmm. you've shared that uh, are in the description of the video and um you know i always appreciate being educated on things um you know coral bleaching wasn't something that was on my mind but i mean i am well aware of climate change and yeah you know the, the changes in the weather that we're seeing that are related to that um yeah the main thing is a lot of it has been stuff that people have just said is going to happen is going to happen is going we're mm -hmm. at the stage where it's happening and we're yeah. observing it happening mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah yeah so i guess where my mind goes and i hear what you were saying about you know it's uh, larger corporations that are are major players in this process yes um not saying that you know individual people don't contribute to it as well but um you know trying to think through what some of the things are that people can do to, to help. there are th there are things that people individually can do um and it's it is worth doing uh the main reason that i put that caveat out there is even if everybody cut back drastically themselves um it it's, it's, not it's not enough by itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, some things people can do, as 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 delicious as it may be, um, cutting back on on especially beef and pork consumption. Uh, as far as meat goes, chicken and fish is probably the most efficient out there. Okay. Um, uh, there are ways that we can get to sustainable like animal ranching but that's not where things are today and mm -hmm. the sheer amount of uh of fresh water and stuff that goes into providing the nutrition for like beef is absolutely ridiculous um uh in your housing um, doing any sort of stuff that will control like your um, sorry if, if you have like an outdated water heater that is a really easy improvement that you can make uh, because that's a huge gain on power efficiency some of the newer models 
are way better, especially if yours is like earlier than 1990. Okay. Um, surprisingly, uh, UV film on your windows goes a long mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. um, if you can tolerate doing this, uh, using your house as a little bit of a thermal battery can help. And what that process is, is you would have to get comfortable with this. But if you push the house temperature down at night, like as cold as you can comfortably live with it, mm -hmm. uh, and then allow your AC unit to run a lot hotter during the day. So, you know, push it up a fair bit, but keep the doors closed as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be several hours there while your house is slowly heating up where it doesn't have to run anything. It's very easy for it to cool the house down at night. Mm -hmm. And that way it doesn't have to run the AC as much during peak energy usage hours. And that okay. can help. Um, uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> Those are all a lot. Yeah. So far, I mean, there's... you're just rattling them off off the top of your head. <laughs> kind, kind of, yeah. So when you're like, hmm, let's see, I'm like, you just gave us a pretty detailed list. Not that there's, uh, yeah. you know, obviously there's more, but I just wanted an idea. I wasn't yeah. <laughs> wanting you to post up, you know. Depending on what your AC unit is mm -hmm. um, and where you live, uh, if you don't currently use a heat pump for air conditioning, that is a much more efficient method than some of the other units that predated it. Although they may not work if you're in some place in 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 certain areas, um, so you'd ha you'd have to look into that. But yeah, I mean, those are just various things that can be done. Um, but ultimately, it will require, you know, collectivizing and forcing the pressure uh, to get some change made mm -hmm. because because uh, it's got to happen at, at the uh, ones who are using it the most. Yeah. Yeah, those are all things I hadn't largely haven't heard before. So, thank you for that. Yeah. Um I will also add a link now that we're talking about that. Uh there's a series of videos by a channel called Technology Connections entirely focused on things that you can do around your house to make it more efficient and to electrify and avoid like uh, gas burning things and mm -hmm. such as that. Um, so I'll drop that playlist in as well. Okay. That sounds great. Yep. Okay. Did you have anything else for us before I start into thank yous? Nope. That is all I've got. Okay. So I'm going to say more of what I've already said. This video is, uh, you know, it's been a wonderful video. It's a wonderful way to celebrate being at 200 subscribers. Actually, it's technically 203 as of this video. Um, and I'm just thrilled to see our community grow. And I, you know, I love members of our community, you know, like Pylia and the ladies who joined us tonight, the Sequoia, Candy, and it's Candy being probably one of the newer members. But I, I mean, maybe not because I think she made a comment that she's watched the videos too, but I don't know how, how long she's been with us. But the fact just even having her in our community along with Masumi and you know all the others that have commented and liked and shared our videos and appeared in the videos and you know just it's just a wonderful group of people and it just absolutely I'm very grateful for it and it's like you said um, when we were having the dance off that we have a very um, carefully curated uh, group of folks and you know if they yeah. weren't here if they weren't feeling our message, then they wouldn't stick around and they are sticking around. So, you know, I, I enjoy that and I'm, I'm grateful and I appreciate every, every follower. I, so I, I, I thank you. Absolutely. I, I echo all of that. And, you know, I hope that, you know, 
I, I think they all know that we absolutely have their back. Um, we will, we, we will strap up to. We will strap up to, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we stand in solidarity with y'all. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, with that, uh, this was a wonderful 200, and, uh, you know, we're gonna keep on growing, I hope, and keep on making Fliff videos, and we'll see you in the next one, or the Flifty, depending on what we film first. Right, and I know that's normally our ending, which is perfect. Mm. I was gonna ask you to do that, and okay. I was also gonna comment that I know you enjoy growing. <laughs> yes. So, with that, please squirt us out, Tour. Okay, here we go. <laughs>